Hi fellow wanderers, it's Tina here from Willow's Wonder and today we're going to be making some Watership Down Easter soap. So let's get started. So what I'm doing first is just combining my lye water solution with my oils and I need to make sure that the temperatures are relatively close together so that, um, that they combine easily. It's really important when you're working with lye to wear protective clothing, gloves and glasses to protect your eyes and to make sure that you don't get any splashes anywhere because it is a caustic um, product and it's the lye water solution is basically made up of sodium hydroxide and distilled water. I add a bit of salt to my lye solution water to help the bar of soap harden up. It's also good to add some sugar which will make the bar uh, produce more lather. So I'm just um, using my stick blender to combine my oils and lye water until I reach a light trace. And this is the previous version of my water ship down soap that I made where it had purple and green. So this time I was trying for something different and I was going to create, instead of the purple, have more of a chocolatey brown colour um, with, the, with the green grass colour. So let me know whether you think the purple and green look better or whether the chocolatey brown and green looks better. So I'm just testing to see whether I can see a light trace on top of my soap batter and that's where you can just see the, the outline of the lines that you're drizzling on top of the soap. That's when you know that you can split your batch to create your accent colours. So I created a couple of accent colours for this soap. As I said before, one of them is a chocolatey brown colour, which I used organic cocoa powder or cacao powder. And with the other colour, I used green mica to produce a, a green grass colour. And this soap was inspired by my niece, Amelia. And um, I just thought I'd like to make her a different Easter present than the Easter presents that she normally gets. So I thought I'd just do something a little bit different for her. And as we speak, I'm going to make two, basically two batches of this Watership Down Easter soap. And both have sold out before they were even completely made. So they have been such a popular soap and I'll definitely be making them next year for Easter. So I'd like to get your opinion on whether you like the purple and green or the chocolate and green colours as well. So I added some peppermint essential oil before to make it like a chalk mint kind of flavour. And these are some little chunks of gold that I've prepared earlier that will go in to mix in with the chocolatey soil colour. So I'm just um, pouring in the chocolatey brown colour in the bottom to set up um, in the corners properly. And I'm just putting my little gold chunks and um, I thought next year I might try to create some gold Easter eggs instead of the um, chunks here that I mix together with the soil type of colour. And I also prepared earlier some little Easter bunnies, um, which I just use a plain, plain old cookie cutter to cut out the shape of the Easter bunnies. And I um, coloured them with a gold mica and olive oil mixture. And that was the same with what I did with these chunks that I'm putting in now. So, and I tried to create a swirl between the chocolatey brown colour and the green grass colour to look like the um, underneath of the earth, basically. 
and then on top I was planning to use uh, piping to pipe the soap onto the top of the soap to make it look like some grass that the little bunny was sitting on top of and they just turned out so cute. So recently I've been doing some soaps inspired by people that I know and love and I've got some interesting ones coming up soon and some people that I've already selected to create some soaps for um, and if you would like to have a soap designed f especially for you and um, and have a YouTube video dedicated to you as well please let me know and either in my Facebook page or down below so Amelia is my little niece she's the same age as my son um, they were only born two weeks apart and um, Amelia loves playing baseball and um, she's uh, very smart so um, I don't get to spend as much time with Amelia as I would like to but when I do spend time with her I really enjoy it and she's becoming such a lovely young lady so I'll give I'll be giving her one of these soaps for Easter and this is a little cookie cutter that I use to cut my little rabbits I um, painted them with gold mica and oil mixed together and <clears throat> this is the layer of green piping that I decided to create as an effect like grass just popping up from the top of the soap there where the bunnies will sit on top of and I'm pretty excited how it turned out I have seen some piping kits with uh, a proper grass tool on the end which I should have used um, but I'll need to get myself some of, some of those tips so Amelia's dad Nathan um, is a great photographer and uh, Amelia is one of his loyal subjects that uh, is often photographed and she is just so photogenic as well her, the photos of her um, out in nature out and about near creeks and rivers and beaches and all, all sorts of parks and things um, are just amazing photos and so beautiful so it's really great to be able to have those memories with her so I'm just um, popping my bunny rabbits on top on the grass there and uh, my bunny rabbits were actually cut out of some orange poppy seed soap that I made not too long ago um, so they do have a little bit of exfoliation on the top there and they have some orange essential oils in them as well and they're just such little cuties So this is the final product um, just about to set up and I'm just sprinkling some light gold mica from New Directions Sydney Australia on the product setting up and it just gives it a beautiful little shimmer and sparkle and this is my water ship down soap I hope you enjoyed the video please like it and subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell to be notified of when my next video is thanks for joining me and thanks for watching until next time stay clean